name is B-Boy Flow Master. I started housing in 1989. Started housing because of all the pop popular guys in high school had all the girls. So when you're in high school, you want all the girls too. So I said, well, if I learn how to dance, then I get all the girls too. So that's how I started house dancing. It's because of the girls. But then as time went on, I did it because I loved it. And then when I met Miss, well, when I met Mr. Wiggles and Pee Wee and Meg, then I changed from house to hip hop to break it and then lock it. Because I couldn't stand lock it. I did not like lock it. But when I saw Wiggles do it, then I was like, you know what? I got to learn this style. So then when I moved to New York, it went to breaking, then to locking. And then when I moved to California, that's when I met Loose Caboose and Richie Rich. Richie Rich is the first guy that got me locking on beat. Because I was the kind of guy that did not listen to the music. I was so fast. The beat would boom, and I'd be like, boom, 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 boom. Totally off beat. So Richie kind of calmed me down. And then I met Loose Caboose, who got me kind of funky with that whole feel. And then I met Greg Camelot from the original Lockers. And that's when my locking just started going up and up and up. How did, well, it started from Don Camelot down from doing it on Soul, on Soul Train trying to do the Funky Chicken. And he couldn't do that, the Funky Chicken right. So he started inventing us like this, just like this whole lock thing. Being clumsy, looking, down, rolling, pointing. You know, and it started on Soul Train for him from a dance that he could not do. And then by him not able to do that dance, he created his own style of dancing. And everybody knows it as locking, but that's not the real name. It's called Camel Lock. It's not locking. Locking is, this is locking. That's locking. But the Camel Lock is very few people really knows how to Camel, camel Lock. The, the um, Camel Lock is more of boom, 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 stop. Look, pause, see a girl walking over to her. More character. You know, people that locks now, they just lock it. No stopping, just going, woo, 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 woo. Stop for a minute, then go, woo, woo, woo. But they don't mess with the audience. See, the lockers back then on Soul, just on Soul Train, if you watch Soul Train and see some of the lockers on there, they will lock and they will break out and go to another person and start dancing with them, then coming back and then back into locking. That's the camera lock. And that, and that is what they was doing back in the 70s. And then as when the lockers stopped, then a group called Chain Reaction came. And that's what everybody starting to really get their locking style from because then was the guys who came to me took the funk out of locking. They really took the funk out of locking. They not dancing or nothing. They just come out there straight point, nine stop. Not giving the audience time to see what they're doing. They just boom, boom, boom. Now they're on, now they're on beat. But it just, they doesn't give time to milk it to let people understand what you're doing because they're constantly moving. So people's like, as the original lockers, the camera lockers, when they do it, they boom, 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 ah, then back into something else. You know, so that's the difference of the way they was locking back then and the way they're locking now. Because when the lockers stopped, the, um, the um, younger generation that came didn't get to see the camera the cam lockers. They came to see this, they saw the um, chain reaction. So that's how everybody thought locking was supposed to be the way chain reaction locks. But they took the funk, that's not dancing to me. To me, by constantly doing a thousand points, that's not dancing. That's just doing a move. You know, the camera just, the camera locks did a move, but they did it with feeling and they did it with funk. And they had this whole, when they wrist roll, they just don't wrist roll like this. They wrist roll with their body moving. All this is keep moving. That's where the funk is at. Where chain reaction is just, the way everybody locks now. Peace, my name is B-Boy Flowmaster. I'm sitting here with the famous Skeeter Rabbit from the Let You Boogaloos. What we're about to demonstrate now is called locking, made up from Don Camelot. So what Skeeter Rabbit's gonna demonstrate now is called wrist twirls.
Okay, standing here with Flowmaster. I'm Skeeter Rabbit. Uh, speaking about some of the different ways that you could pace and locking. Mm -hmm. You know, pace and locking is just what it is. It helps you keep the timing with the music. You're pacing, you know, rocking with it, pacing with it. So uh, Flo's going to demonstrate some uh, pacing that we do today and I'll show you some of the old style pacing that we used to do back in the early 70s. Check it out. In locking, it's like a, uh, a move called the stop and go, made up by Greg Camelot Jr. Pope. And uh, it's, it's, it's an uh, a individual move that was also used in unison pieces, you know, when they dance together. Stop and go by Greg. Camelot Jr. Pope. All right, Flowmaster, Skill Rabbit, discussing the lock, originated by Don Campbell. Anyway, we're at a part of uh, this piece where we introduce you to the scubot. Scubot was a later move, you know, maybe around 75, 76, and uh, uh, it came from a guy outside the lockers, but you know, the lockers, you know, they added things in. If it was funky, they'll use it. So uh, we'll show you uh, the way to do the scuba. I'll go up first and I'll do like sort of a lazy variation and then I'll do the up tempo variation. Then he's going to come and do the scuba hop. All right, peace. Flowmaster, how do you think we should demonstrate this next move? The Scooby-Doo. I think I should take it from doing the original, you doing it, standing down, um, doing the original style, not the original style, but standing low, and you take it to the Scooby-Doo going up into the air. Okay. He's going to show you one variation, and I'll show you the other variation. Scooby-Doo, Flowmaster.
Yo, did you know the Scooby-Doo was a cartoon? Yeah. Late 60s, about 69, it was a cartoon of a dog called Scooby-Doo. And uh, the name came before the move. And it was a guy named Scooby-Doo who made up that move, the Scooby-Doo. I didn't even know that. That's good, though. Say, that's more information for you. Scooby-Doo was a cartoon, animation now. So, now we're going to the Skeeter Rapid. Skeeter. Now, I'm known as Skeeter Rapid. Not because I made up the Skeeter Rapid, it's because I do the Skeeter Rapid. And I've been doing the Skeeter Rapid since about 75. And um, how I got the name Skeeter Rabbit was the guy who made up Skeeter Rabbit lived near my neighborhood, which I lived in Compton, he lived in Watts. And he made up the move Skeeter Rabbit. But I did it, and as I got older, I did so many different variations that people used to call me Little Skeeter Rabbit or Skeeter Rabbit Jr., and it, the name just stuck, the Skeeter Rabbit. All right, look, I think we should let them know why we point, how to point, and how did the point come about. Okay. Don Campbell used to dance, and sometimes people would laugh at him, or make fun, or even say, hey, get down, and he would point at him. Like, I see you, I see you too. That's the point. Just point at people. Point. You don't point up here, or point like this, or point like that. You just point at somebody. Hey, 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 okay, yeah. You know, throw your thumbs up, you can hitchhike. Show them how to get down with the point. Mr. Flowmaster. What's the name of this dance that we do, that we love so much? Well, people know it's locking, but we call it the camel lock. Yeah. So what we should show them is how to lock. Lock it up. Yes, sir. This is how you lock. Now, Flo, we showed them how to lock, which we just lock up the joints, right? Mm -hmm. Locking in a pose, right? Yep. Now, when you hot, and you know you hot, when you bad, and you know you bad, you give a brother five. I give you five, because you cool. Super daddy number one. So check this out. Show them why we give ourselves five, because we know that we bad. 
the five. Most people really don't know who Fluky is. Fluky Luke, one of the original members of the Lockers. His real name is Leo Lundy, okay? He came up with a move called the Leo Walk. We know him as Fluky, but his real name is Leo. Flo is going to demonstrate the Leo Walk. Boy, that Leo walk, man, when Leo made that up, boy, whew, that was, that was crazy. funky. That was but crazy. listen, we got another move by Fluky Luke, and it's called the Witch Way. Oh, yeah. But the original name was before the, the Witch Way was Iron Horse. And the reason why it was called that, because it looks like Fluky was riding a horse. Yeah. But then he changed the name to the Witch Way. Right. Because it's like, you don't know which way well, he's going. going. Yeah. <laughs> so what Skeeter Rab is going to do is demonstrate the Witch Way. Man, I wish you were something else. Well, I'm telling you. And if you're not doing it right, please learn how to do it correctly. But yo, you from Maryland. I'm originally from Dallas. And you remember the days of the pimp. Big hats, platforms, Ooh. bell bottoms, and that cool walk cool. that you see. Cool. <laughs> if you weren't walking cool, you weren't pimping. You know, and if you was pimping, you better have a nice pimp wall. Now the lockers took that and added some funk to it, dropped it down, and this is how the lockers do the pimp wall. Check this out. You remember those Volkswagen Beetles? You mean them? Yeah, yeah. the original. Ones. Yeah, yeah. Them little ones look now, like I'm gonna Her tell you. Herb Herbert the Love Bug. Right. I believe, I'm not sure if it was Shabadoo, but uh, one of them had a Volkswagen, but it was a Carmen Ghia. Mm -hmm. And Greg and Fluky made fun of it. And it was a putt putt. You know, it breaks down a lot. So they came up with a move called a Volkswagen because it was making fun of a Volkswagen Karma gear. Man, they, these were some originators. You can look at a car and make a move up from just looking at a car? That's bad. I'm telling you, man. That's bad. And plus, it was funky. That's bad. You show them your style. Well, nah, it's not your style. Show them your, how you learn, and I show them 
the, the way I learned back in the days, yes, okay? Sir. Here's the new way, the latest way, and the old way. Hey man, I think we're down to the last, bro. But check this out. I remember this move when it first came out. Because I used to stay in front of the TV on C. Soul Train came on late then, like about 10 or 11 at night, on KCOP. Okay. Channel 5. I remember that, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was before your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They had a move yesterday. called the sneaky peek. Okay, you were peeking, and the lockers took it, put it in the dance, and called it the snake. Now I want you to get down with the snake, and guess what? What? I'm gonna get down with the snake. Okay. All right, have it, baby. What's up, man? My name is B-Boy Wicked. I represent footwork fanatics like a mug, tribal click. Alright, when I started breaking, I started breaking in 93. I had a best friend that uh, had an older brother. We were in high school at the time, and his older brother was, was breaking at the time. And uh, they had this party, this big party in San Francisco, where Crazy Legs and Little Caesar, Easy Rock, Fresh, they were all at this party, and I was too young to go. So once my friend showed me the video, I was like, oh, that's what I want to do. I want to learn how to spin on my head. I want to learn how to do flares and you know stuff like that. So all I do is just try to practice how to do flares, windmills, halos, and head spins. And then, um, and then later, like maybe three years later, I see uh, on MTV The Grind, I see Rocksteady Crew, Ken Swift, Mr. Wiggles, Crazy Legs, Fable. Like man, they don't do no power moves or nothing, but it still looks good. Look, looks crazy, like you know, character. And I was thinking, why is that only most people on the East Coast do footwork, and most people on the West Coast do air moves? So for a very long time, I was confused. Maybe that's just East Coast style, and this is West Coast style. Until Flo uh, told me, it's like, no, you gotta have foundation, and that's what I know. I didn't know because. On the West Coast, uh, mostly everyone's doing power moves, so that's what I think breaking is until he put me on game. So, so he showed me how to do six step and four step and freezes and how to dance. Because when I was only doing power moves, I would never dance. I would hear the music, I would listen to it, but I wasn't dancing to it. I was just moving, just movements, all power moves and you know stuff like that until Flo told me. Then I understood, I was like, oh, okay. So now you have to dance to the beat. 
hit freezes on the beat, footwork to the beat. So that changed my whole style. Well, I know Spy started the sixth step, you know, doing all the incredible foot, all the incredible footwork that you've seen today. You know, Spy is definitely responsible for that. I, I wasn't around to see him, but I just hear stories from Crazy Legs and Ken Swift, because Ken Swift told me that his um, inspiration was Spy. That's how Ken Swift got his style, is from Spy, you know. I met Ken, just, I met Ken Swift in um, 92 at the Rocksteady anniversary. I never seen him be, I never seen him before, because when I saw Mr. Wiggles and Crazy Legs, they kept telling me, because I thought Legs was the best. When I saw Legs dance, I was like, Legs. But Mr. Wizard was like, no, you gotta see Ken Swift. I was like, Ken Swift better than late? He said, I don't know about better, but you gotta see Ken Swift. So when I came up to the Rocksteady anniversary, I was trying to wait for Ken Swift. Everybody was just breaking, everybody was going crazy. So all of a sudden I see this little short guy with a stomach come in with a butterfly, just like a bumblebee or something. And he had a bumblebee shirt on something. And I looked at him, I was like, that's Ken Swift? He don't look like he knows how to dance. Everybody's like, watch, watch. And when Ken Swift stepped in the circle, Everybody in the whole jam stopped and zoomed around Ken Swift, and he killed it. My mouth dropped. When I saw that, that's how I knew I wanted to break like that. Nobody else like him. I wanted his flavor. And many years, I kept trying to get his flavor, and I didn't know what it was that he was doing. I tried and tried and could not get it. But it's one thing that I didn't notice, but I know now, is Ken hits the music. He listens to the music, he's smooth, he's funky with it. He doesn't try to put too many moves all in one. Peace, my name is B-Boy Flowmaster from the Footwork Fanatics, chilling with my main man, Wicked, and we're gonna show y'all some steps about B-Boy, the correct way and the wrong way. So first, we're gonna start with up rocking, known as Brooklyn rocking, and, and this style of dance is a battle type of dance of striking, pulling guns, knives and stuff, pretending like we're shooting, pretending like we're hitting each other in the face, the gut, but we're not making no contact. This is a, a battle type dance, but no contact whatsoever. And this style started in the boogie down, um, not the boogie down, I'm sorry. Brooklyn. Uh, Brooklyn. So we're going to try our best to do the best we can for all your, Bro for the Brooklyn kids. We're going to try our best to do the way that y'all used to do it. All right, now what we're gonna do is Rick is gonna demonstrate of the different strikes in Brooklyn Rock. So first he's gonna show the strikes from punching. Now Wick is gonna show a combination of cutting with nice or with Ginsu. <sighs> the next one is going to be wicked demonstrating the art of shooting, better known as Skeeter Rabbit. So, me and Wick is going to demonstrate the art of Brooklyn Rock using punching, cutting, and shooting a gun. All right? Sit back and enjoy.
How you guys doing? My name is B-Boy Wicked, representing Footwork Fanatics with my man Flo. He's going to show you the top rock from back in the day. Take it away, Pootie. All right, now I'm going to show you what it is today. It's kind of the same mixture of what it was back in the day, just, you know, a little more crazy, a little more, you know. Man, I'm, I'm going to just show you. Alright, check this out. Now, myself and Flo are going to demonstrate this top rock and ish to the music. This next move that I'm about to show now is called the six step, made up by Spy from New from New from New York City, and um, this step is the basic step of footwork. And when I say footwork, I mean b-boy type of footwork, not the house style of footwork, but b-boy type of footwork. And this is like your jab of boxing. This sets up everything. So first, I'm gonna do it slow, break it down. I'm gonna show it how they did it back in the days and how they're doing it now. So first, slow. One, two, three, four, five, six. The other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to show you how they did it back in the days. Now, the way they're doing it now. And the difference is, back in the days, they had the whip. When they got here, they whipped it. Whipped. Here, no whip. The whip went out the door. You got to get the whip back. The six step is, is already foundation for the six step. You got to get the whip back to make it look funky. All right, check it out. I'm about to show you how to four step. Four steps. Check. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Fast like this. All right, check it out. I just did the four step for you. Now I'm gonna do the three step. And it goes like this, slow first. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now fast. Three step. So what I'm going to show now is called baby swipes. You got the high swipes and you got the baby swipes. And all the four step, the three step, and the six step was made up by Spy from New York City. So majority of all of the footwork that you see came from a guy named Spy from New York City. So now I'm gonna show the baby swipe. Baby swipes. 
This next move that I'm about to show now is called CC's, and after I get finished doing the CC's, Wicked is going to show bouncing CC's. And the reason why they call it CC's, back in the day, Legs was in a crew called Crazy Commandos, and that was just the term that they used, CC style footwork. That's what they used to do. That type of footwork was called CC's. That's why they called it CC's. So what me and Wicked's gonna do now is show our style of footwork from Footwork Fanatics that originated from Prince Ken Swift. Everybody has a hero, so our style of footwork came from Prince Ken Swift, so we're going to show you our style of footwork to the music. The next move that I'm going to show you is the most important aspect of b-born, and that's freezing. Not the freezes that they're doing today, but the original freeze from back in the days, how they used to end when they got, just when they came out of their footwork and the power moves. So first I'm going to demonstrate a baby freeze. Baby freeze, then open freeze. Baby freeze, let's just close, open, close. Open. It's baby freeze. Next, I'm going to do chair. The chair, always on your toes. The, the reverse chair. Back to the original chair. The next move is called the turtle. What you do out of the baby. The baby is like this, but the turtle is more in here. Reverse it. Reverse it. Them are the three common freezes that they used to do back in the days. All right, check this out. Now I'm going to show you three basic freezes from today. First one is called the Air Jordan, which I got from Flo. It goes like this. It's like the Air Jordan logo, but upside down. All right, check this out. This next freeze is called the Air Baby, inspired by Kent Swift. And it goes like this. The tilting tower freeze. And it goes like that. Now we're going to show the freezes done to the music. This next move is called the Thomas Flare. It was so-called people saying that made up that Kurt Thomas from Gymnastics Start was the first one that did it on the um, floor, but I think somebody else did it, but he made it famous. Like Michael Jackson making the backside famous. That's what Kurt Thomas did, so he's gonna show Thomas Flair.
Now, my man Flowmaster is going to show what swipes are, and they go a little something like this. This move, the next move that Wicked is about to show is called Continuous Backspin. People have known it as windmills, but it's called Continuous Backspin because windmill is like this. Continuous Backspin is like this. So the, real, the original name, from my knowledge, uh, from the original, you know, like Crazy Legs and them told me, it's called the Continuous Backspin. The next move that we get ready to show is called 1990s. That I'm going to demonstrate the original 1990s that was invented by Ken Swift, and then it went on to Chino with the spin. So my knowledge is some people saying that it's not true, but some people say it is. Then so Wick is going to do the night the 1990s, and I'm just going to do the original 1990 by Ken Swift. That was the 1990 then, this is the 1990 now. The next move that Wick is going to do now is called the drill, made up by Kid Freeze. This next move that Wick is about to do is called the backspin. And you can see this backspin in a movie called Flash Dance, where Crazy Legs had to dress up in pantyhose and wear a wig and spin on his back. Backspin. There's three basic parts in B and B Boy. That's your top rock, your footwork, and power moves. Footwork and power moves is together. Power moves are just are big moves like anything that deals with power, like flares, swipes, continuous backspins. Icy Ice is a prime example of, of what, what power moves was from the New York City Breakers. He was part of the New York City Breakers at that time. So he did incredible power, air, air twisting moves and catching it. So now Wick is going to show combinations of power moves. Stephen Mark Nicholas Benson is my name, my whole name, my real name. Skeeter Rabbit is a locking name, and it was a guy named Skeeter Rabbit. Uh, he wasn't with the lockers, but he knew the lockers. And um, he, uh, he's the one who made up the dance Skeeter Rabbit, right? And so when I started locking, that was my specialty, doing the Skeeter Rabbit. And I used to do all these different variations. It was his style, but I just start switching it and changing it. So everybody called me like Lil Skeeter Rabbit or Skeeter Rabbit Jr. And the name Skeeter Rabbit just stuck. So that's how I got the name Skeeter Rabbit. You know. In 73, 74, uh, I started locking. I seen the lockers and I started locking. And some of the lockers was from my neighborhood, which is I stayed on the borderline of Compton and Watts. And, um, and so, you know, I would, I would see lockers all the time, so I, I like to dance, so I would lock. But I, it was just, uh, it was a thing to do. I didn't, I didn't want to be a dancer, you know, I just, I just like it. You know, I wanted to be a gangster. That's all I wanted to be, period. I, uh, someone had told me about popping, but I had never seen it, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I lived in the Bay Area in San Francisco, and I had uh, seen a, a few, uh, it, it wasn't called popping. I seen people 
dime stopping and, and doing a robot and stuff like that. But I wouldn't, I didn't think it was anything different from what I was doing. But then uh, my cousins came down from, uh, which is Bubble Sam and his real name is Sammy Solomon and uh, Timothy Solomon, which is Poppin' Pete, moved from Fresno, California to Long Beach, California. And we hooked up and uh, that was over for me. Uh, I'm in a group called Electric Boogaloos. Um, started, created, founded by my brother Boogaloo Sam and Nate Johnson, as far as the, the group, the original group called Electronic Boogaloo, Electronic Boogaloo Lockers are from Fresno, California. Um, Sam started, uh, I mean, he created the style of popping and boogalooing back in 1976, 75, 76. I mean, he just was doing a dance, you know what I'm saying? He was just doing this style that really had no name. And his uncle had had uh, given him the name Boogaloo or said that you was doing something, uh, say do that Boogaloo or whatever. And and the name Boogaloo uh, kind of stuck with the style. Because like I said, it was no name for what he was doing. And from there, he just started developing more stuff. And you know, and the next thing you know, he started teaching other guys and then they made a group called Electronic Boogaloo Lockers. Then I became a member in 1978. Uh, and from Long, we moved to Long Beach, California, from Fresno, and that was in 1978. Uh, Sam had uh, called me. Sam is, is my my older brother, but we have different mothers, uh, same father. But um, he had called me up and said I got a style called Boogaloo and popping, and and he was trying to explain to me over the phone. You know, I'm gonna like, you know, and I, when he was telling, he said, "Oh, you make your arm snap," and you so. When I got off the phone, I started going like, like, what? I mean, I couldn't understand. Like, you know, you pop your arms, you pop your arms. I mean, you make them look, I'm going like, and that's why I was going like, yeah, like, I, you know, I'm going high. So, he, we was, that's when we had moved to Long Beach from Fresno. Sam came down to visit, and we picked him up from the bus station, and I, like, ran, I was 16 years old, and, I got his bags, we got to the house, I ran in the house, actually before he even got in the house, I said, let me see the dance, let me see the dance. He, he said, no, nah, I'll wait. So we, uh, we got into the apartment, to the house, and went to the bedroom, and what I seen him do, man, it changed my life. I had never, ever seen anybody move their body like that. And I had, um, I think that, that night, I stayed, we stayed up eight hours, we stayed up almost all night, and my mom told me, like, came in the room, go to bed, because I was in there just, just doing this all night, in the mirror, go on, two, and where I woke up the next morning, my neck was sore, my arms were sore, but I had to do this dance, and I practice every day, hard. Yo, uh, Skeeter Rabbit, Pop and Pete. Pete. Uh, one of the most uh, asked questions is, how did the popping thing come around, you know? So, uh, what had happened was, it was a dance in the, like, early, middle to late 60s called The Jerk. And uh, Sam, you know, Sam being so young then, his, like, aunts and uncles used to watch him. Uh, he used to watch them do The Jerk. And, you know, he started kind of copying that and go to church and see people in the church shaking to the gospel music. And he started copying that move and he would go pop, 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 pop. And it was very basic, easy, you know. It wasn't like what you see today. It was like pop, 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 pop. And, you know, that's how the whole move and name came about was Sam saying the word pop, pop. so everybody when just, he yeah when, when he, he was dancing yeah, yeah when he was dancing so Pete's gonna show you how it was in the beginning and how it is now.
All right, uh, one of the uh, more recent styles P came up with in 1997, we were in a show in Las Vegas, Nevada at New York, New York Hotel called Matt Hatton. And uh, in the dressing room, P was just practicing and like just getting down to the music. And uh, he start, he was getting tired, so he was acting like he was tired and going to sleep. And uh, one of the uh, other dancers of B-Boy Wicked uh, named it Sleepy Style, and P came up with it in 1997. Sleepy Style. <laughs> Okay, uh, another style of popping uh, that deals basically with from the waist down but also up. Uh, P came up when uh, 80, like around 80, 81. Uh, he took it from uh, the B Boy Crazy Legs from Rock Steady. And uh, he, he liked the way he, you know, did his footwork and leg work uh, when he was, you know, B Boying and everything and how fast and you know, agitated it was, so he, you know, came up with the concept to do it with popping. It. It's called a crazy legs. All right. <laughs> Outside of the electric boogaloos in the Bay Area, uh, it was uh, like a style developing in the early 80s, like 82 or after 82, maybe the summer of 82, late 82 into 83, which was called waving. Now, electric boogaloos, we were uh, tidal waving in 76, but uh, this is, uh, the tidal wave was with the body. This is waving with the arms and, you know, and through the body. So uh, Peter's going to demonstrate waving. Simple way. <laughs> Okay, another like style that came out of uh, between the Bay, but uh, Oakland, Frisco. yeah, Oakland, Frisco area. Uh, it was called Tutty or King Tut, and uh, it, it it got popularized through uh, like uh, uh, Bugs Bunny used to tut in some of his uh, cartoons and everything, and uh, yeah, you know, Michelangelo, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, the from uh, Fishbone, from Fishbone, the guy from Fishbone used to do. Uh, the tut and uh, it was popular uh, like late 80, 81, around right before waving got big. But uh, this is not uh, electric boogaloo style, it's just another, you know, something that's in, under the umbrella of uh, the popping. So uh, it's called uh, the tut or king tut. It's up on the street dance. <laughs> Thank you. 
check it out. Uh, there's a style that everybody always talking about, you know, we do called the boogaloo, you know, that boogaloo style. Right, right. Or, or we uh, refer to now as boog style. Right. But uh, it was created by Boogaloo Sam, my brother, in 1976 uh, in Fresno, California. And the whole thing is just doing weird moves, round, making your body do, uh, get into positions that are kind of like uncomfortable looking, but also real dope. Like, like sectioning, you know. separating the rib cage from your hip. Exactly. And mm -hmm. uh, almost tilting over. He was watching cartoons and animation, I how there's no he, bones, you know, go ahead, baby. So what it, what it's gonna happen here at this point in time is Skeeter Rabbit's gonna demonstrate to you that boogaloo, you know, how it looked in the beginning and how it now be, has become, you know. So Skeeter Rabbit, do your thing. Mold them out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're getting ready to, uh, you know, talk about this style called Ticket, you know. Ticket. Um, Sam actually taught uh, one of the original guys that was in the Electronic Boogaloo Lockers uh, how to get down for us to popping and stuff. Green. It's Ticket Wheel, William Green from Fresno, California. Actually, Ticket Wheel is, is the one who actually made up Ticket, you know. Sam showed him how to pop, but he just made up Ticket. And Ticket is actually just sped up popping. It's just double timing, and it's actually the hardest uh, style to do because it takes a lot of energy. To master. To, yeah. yeah. And, and it's a style. It's not yeah. a move. And, and also is that a lot of people think strobing and ticking is the same. Strobing is this. And Skeeter Rabbit getting ready to show you what ticking is. So check this out. Original ticking Fresno style. Ticking wheel. <laughs> Uh, here is uh, we're gonna demonstrate and talk about a style called Toy Man. Toy Man is a um, I mean it's based on the action figures, you know, as far as uh, GI Joe's, G. Joe's uh, you know, Major all the Mac Mason. all those little all those little, uh, little toys. So, and it came from another member of Electric Boogaloo's, which is it was uh, there's Skeeter, and then there's Skeet. It's another my other cousin named Skeet. Uh, Al Alvin Prater, Albert Prater. Yeah. Um, he made up uh, the style called Toy Man, so they used to call him Toy Man Skeet. Okay, so Skeeter Rabbit is going to uh, demonstrate the original Toy Man that is rarely seen because a lot yeah. of people don't do it anymore, but it's a phenomenal stizzy. So I'm going to back up on my kneesies and let the measies do his steensies. I'm his outies. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, right here, we're gonna do a style um, called the Scarecrow. That was created by Boogaloo Sam, like back in 1977. Um, and he, he got it from the uh, movie, uh, or Ega, as y'all would say. A uh, movie called Wizard of Oz. I had the, square, the, scare, the Scarecrow Man up in there. Yeah, not to say the square, square two man. Did <laughs> scarecrow. The scarecrow. So uh, you know how we do. So check it out. He's gonna demonstrate the scarecrow that was created by Boogaloo Sam in Fresno, California. Do your thing, based on the Wizard of Oz scarecrow. But we're gonna put a little funkiness in it. So you do your thing, Ski. <laughs> Okay, here it is a style that um, came from Fresno. It's called the puppet. You know, it was uh, based on, you know, marionettes or puppets, you know, as far as the strings. About 78, 79. Yeah, about, huh? yeah, about 78, 79. Could, 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 be, could be like 77, you know. Yeah, it could have been a little earlier. Um, but this, when it got to us in Long Beach, it yeah, was 78. 70, 78. So, again, this is a style that, um, you know, it, it, it was out for a few years. And, again, no one does it because no one knows it. And, uh, other than electric boogaloo's, so Skeeter Rabbit once again, and he's doing all the work. He's going to show you the puppet, and this this is directly out of the electric boogaloo, boogaloo camp, camp, Fresno, California. Let's check it out, puppet style, Skeeter Rabbit. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do a style that was actually created by uh, Skeeter Rabbit in, in 1999 called shadow boxing um, you know he said that he um, you know he was watching a uh, uh, kung fu movies by uh, Gordon, Gordon Lou the man with the dots on his head yeah uh, and I guess he you know he was practicing with himself as far as the shadow off the um, off the buildings yeah. or whatever and Skeet what he did is mimic that you know style and put put it into the popping popping and he came up with, with this, which is a, you know, definitely a nice uh, 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 addition to the whole popping and boogalooing and let your boogaloo camp. So, you know, he did his thing. He uh, innovated a style called shadow boxing. Skeeter Rabbit, ladies and gentlemen, do your thizzies. <laughs> Okay, uh, 
This is another style that not only came from the Boogaloo camp and a, a previous member of the Electric Boogaloos, one time member of the Electric Boogaloos out of Long Beach, California, but is, it was also spawned by a move that Sam did on uh, Soul Train 1979, Sexy Dancer. And the guy who made up the move, his name is Durrell from the mysterious uh, Poppers. Poppers. He uh, was once the Electric Boogaloo and he got out and uh, he seen Sam do a move where Sam just rolled his body and he seen that inspired by the move came up with his own style called snaking okay Long Beach California 1979-80 Pete will demonstrate the snake I might look like a worm <laughs> Okay, here's a, here's a style that is not of the Electric Boogaloo camp that was um, created in a, a section of California, San Francisco, in the Fillmore District of San Francisco. Uh, and the guys that, um, I don't know if they, they didn't create it, but uh, they kind of put it on the map was a group called Demons of the Mind uh, slash Media Circus now. And, you know, this, this was almost like a, like a party dance that trans, uh, transcend into uh, like getting down into yeah, street, dance. street dance and stuff. So it's called the Phil Moore somewhere early to middle 70s was the creation of it. Right. Okay. So Skeeter Rabbit's going to do the Phil Moore that is not a boogaloo move or electric boogaloo and you don't pop with it. But we love it anyway. We love it anyway. <laughs> Okay, here's a style that comes from San Francisco, the Bay Area, uh, Northern California. Again, it's not a electric boogaloo uh, style or, or move. We just saw it, we like it, and we, you know, start using it. But it's from like the San Francisco area. Again, people like um, Derek and Company, um, uh, East Bay Boogaloos, and uh, Media Circus Demons on the Mind did these uh, moves. Running and Robotronics. Did the style. Robotronics. So it's called strutting. Or strutting. Blue City Strutters, Booyah yeah. Tribe also. Yeah. Yeah. So strutting style, again, demonstrated by Skeeter Rabbit. Check it out, because you don't pop with it. Strut. <laughs> Thank you. 